Hello, everybody. I'm Donna from Purple Pinky Promises. Welcome. I'm going to gather my stuff here while I wait for people to hop on. Good crafternoon to you. <laughs> Hello, hello, and welcome. I think I do. Oh, I forgot to turn on my light. Boo, there we go. <laughs> That's a little better. <laughs> Yay, I don't have some that it's not so dark. Well, hello, everybody. I am going to talk to you just a little bit while we wait for people to um, hop on here. Um, I am going to show you, this is what we're working with today, and I will show you that here in just a second. We'll get to all that momentarily. But what I wanted to show you um, was the other push, 3D pushouts that we have, and oh gosh, it escapes me. I had some custom. I had some customer, a local, some local customers here, that oh gosh, ah, my brain isn't working right now. It's um, I'm not doing well with names right now. Er, I see your face. <laughs> Jill, Jill, that's right. Jill, I think it's Jill Scrooby was the one um, who has a friend who lives in Iowa. I believe it's in Iowa. That kind of she's brought here to the store to shop. And she has kind of um, pointed these out to me, these uh, 3D pushouts. And we have three different kinds right now. We'll probably get some more. Hi, Lindy. <laughs> good afternoon, good afternoon. I just kind of wanted to pull out some of these absolutely beautiful um, 49 in market sheets that we have here in the store. And we have them individually, so you can kind of pick them out. But these papers coordinate so beautifully with some of these pushouts. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but these colors are just gorgeous together. Um, this with this little black and yellow bird, so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the vintage feel of these. These are the 49 in Market Nature Study. And uh, I pulled out some of these papers to just kind of show you how absolutely beautiful they coordinate. So, um, yeah. But I also, we, we just got in, so pretty, just absolutely gorgeous. Um, we just got some of these in. And this is the Bee Honey uh, 3D push-out sheet. And these look absolutely beautiful. The blues just are pretty together. I don't know if you can see that. And oh my goodness, the yellows and browns on this are so, so pretty. And they just work so nice together. This is also a really pretty combo with this. And then of course this kind of solid looking is so gorgeous. Um, and then there's another side that's kind of, it would work as well. Now these are more, these are too busy, but you could use the other side for another project. Um, kind of busy, but you could use it for something else. And all of these really coordinate nicely. I thought this wasn't even too bad. Um, if you wanted to throw a plaid in there, the greens and the browns are kind of pretty. Um, where did that go? That, here it is. So I just thought, oh, how nice would all of that kind of flow together if you were to use it. Um, if you like plat if you like a lot of patterns, um, that's something that would work. Anyway, so I just thought I would throw that out, um, that we have these 3D push-out sheets and they work really nice with the nature study papers. So check that out and um, just give it a look. Really, really pretty. But today, 
And here I, I have pulled out some more of these. Um, where are you at? I think one of them is Woodland and the other one is called Natural Habitat. So I have pulled out these papers, the blue and the green, which I just thought, Ugh, how gorgeous does that? It just works so beautifully together. I don't know if you can see it, if the camera even does it justice, but it's really pretty. So I pulled these pick papers out. These are also the nature uh, study from 49A Market as well. I did pop one of them out so that I could kind of get an idea of how it looked and if I liked it. So um, I am, I've got all of my pre-cutting done and I have used the second largest nesting oval frame from Waffle Flower. Just pull this out to kind of show you. I left it on there so I could remember which one I used. Still has its tape on. So the second largest frame is what I've used. And I have, so you're gonna get a solid and you're gonna get a frame from it. So that solid, we're gonna go ahead and use it in the background. And uh, let's just see what we come up with here. So far, that's what I have done. I pulled out a few other things just to, we might end up wanting to use. So we'll see how it all goes. All right, <clears throat> I did pull out some of this vibrant ribbon. I thought that would be really pretty with this. Pull out that beautiful peachy color. I grabbed some Venice and some Radio City because I just thought all of these were really, really pretty colors that would work quite well together. So if you can see those pretty colors. All right. So let's, let's roll. Let's do this. Um, if I am going to use my ribbon, which I'm pretty sure I want to do. I definitely need to get that down now. So that's the first thing. Oh, and I forgot. This is from Concord Ninth. Excuse me. This is the pebble. I've used that and I'm gonna use my sentiment. Okay. So I that's the first thing I do need to do is I need to get my um I need to get my ribbon down. And I am just gonna go to the middle here. I'm just gonna tuck it around on the back side. I'm gonna use some double-sided tape to do that. And just like so. Well, that looks so pretty. It does, it looks so, I, I just was, I was so shocked at how nice I thought, okay, now that I've got this, <laughs> what goes with it. So I just did a little search around the shop and I came up with that and was quite happy with that. that. It just was very, very nice. Okay, so that, did I grab my scissors? I didn't grab my ribbon scissors. But I think these will cut. <laughs> we'll cross our fingers, hoping. All right, so I'm gonna just go to the middle here. I'm eyeballing it. That's the name of my game is eyeballing it. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm gonna pop that there, trim that off. Yay, those scissors are good. <laughs> Some of them need to be sharpened. And I just think that looks nice. Now we'll come back and we'll do this later and get our bow on there. But now this needs, I'm going to have use this for my background piece. And um, yeah, so I'm going to glue it down. I'm going to cross our fingers that our glue is not clogged, which can happen. Uh, I'm going to try to grab a pen. Definitely left this one open. You can feel that resistance. Shame on you, Mac. Ooh. 
How is everybody doing? We're getting ready for our big um, pajama crop, pajama party crop this weekend. And I'm excited for that. Yay! Okay, just gonna pop this down centered as eyeballing it again. Here, see where center falls as best as I can. Okay, now, now let's work on this uh, 3D. Oh, I probably ought to go grab. I'll be right back, folks. It's the story of my life. I thought I was so prepared. And of course, no. I'm gonna need some of this sticky thumb stuff. That's the, for the, that's the foam. Okay, so this, as far as, this is my first time playing with these. So my thoughts are, we basically layer these pieces and they're pretty simple to pop out. Just gently remove them. And what I really like about this is um, it's different. There's no white edge on this. And it is a, so it's very different from what you would normally. Um, so now we've still got our birdhouse and now we've just got a little bit of flower here in the background. Everything else is just the same. So I'm gonna take my thin, my thinnest foam here. And I am gonna start cutting and layering. Move this out of the way before I get some stuff stuck to it. There are four layers for this one. It looks like all of them have four layers. And I'm going to grab a big piece and just start cutting. Oh, there's a little spot that we need to pop out, which is right here. So pay attention for those, just an FYI. Okay, so I'm going to cut a little bit of a strip here. And cut this off. Might be a little long. Thin it out here because it's kind of thin down here. And then we can just trim this and place it somewhere else. skinny right here sounds like a drink a long skinny here. I got a, an empty spot there, so I think that's good for now. All right, so we'll just layer these over the top of each other. I'm going to create more work for myself if I throw them in there. Okay. 
peel off our backing. I'm a little earlier than usual. I am just trying to stay on top of the things, getting ready for Saturday. So <laughs> that's why I'm early today because I've got some work to do. So we're just, oh, see, I found another place where it's kind of popping out from. So it's popping out from this little back area and this little back area. So it's gonna have some nice little dimension to it. It'll be super pretty. Okay. That straightened up. So my little bird's just gonna sit right here in the middle and we're gonna do the next layer, which will leave some of that birdhouse in the background. And if you are like me, and it can be too much with a whole sheet being fiddly, you can always do this. Just cut out that portion that you need so it's not so fiddly. And there we go. So we technically could really quickly create several cards here, a few, three, from one sheet, but I'm just going to do one demo, um, being that I have places to go and people to prepare for. <laughs> I'm just taking my time because I don't want to rush it and tear it. These are so pretty. Super, super pretty. So now you see we have another layer. <clears throat> and now that is going that um, birdhouse is going to be in the background. I have this long piece that I can use that's left over. And I'm just going to lay it right here. Nope, I don't want to lay it there. Good thing I didn't commit that. Let's lay it over here on this side. And this foam that we have in the shop is a little thinner, so it's nice. It's, you're not going to have tons of bulk as if you would when you were, if you were to use something that was a little thicker. This is a really nice, um, I'm gonna go with a thin strip again. Really nice foam. And it's also nice because you can custom fit it size-wise. Comes on a roll, it doesn't come in squares. So you can cut off just the amount that you need. And I'm gonna put this piece right here. I'm gonna cut this off just right there. At an angle. And now we have a little piece, a little spot. Where do I want it? Do I want it here? Yeah, we'll just put it there. I'm gonna do another thin piece down through there. Cut it pretty thin so that I can make it all the way down. That's perfect. Yay. Nope, it's not showing. And cut off a piece here. Oop, a little too much. Pull that back. Turn it over here so that. Well, you know what? I think we did it. Well, no, we have a little too much. <laughs> I don't want to get greedy. That piece can go right here. It can pop up on that. Yay! 
I don't know why I talk myself through these these things. I guess it's because it's so quiet over here and I don't hear you. So, <laughs> so here we go. Okay, our next piece here, we'll lay our chest over these leaves and flowers and the bird's tail, just like so. That's just so pretty, you guys. Look at that, it's just nice. I love that. And then our last one is just the bird. My nose itches. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's do this. Just like so. Grab ourselves a little piece down here. might be too much. It is. There we go. Just a little bit right there at the top and we're good. Maybe I've got this little piece here. I think I'm gonna pop it here. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. Did I make it? I did. Yay. Let's stick that back on here for later. This card has really come together very nicely. If you need, if you're just, if it's something that you're not really wanting to think too much about, this is perfect. So perfect. There it is. I don't know if you, oh, it's so pretty. Just kind of give you a little look at that dimension. Gorgeous. So we're going to stick this in here and I'll put that second frame around it with some foam. It'll still probably, let's see what we've got going on. Let's put this foam on. He might. You might want a second layer of foam. I don't know. But we shall see, right? Just go around. If it feels like it's not enough, we can always add another layer. But I think it'll be fine. Even if it was close to the uh, even if our bird pops out, I kind of feel like that's okay. Kind of getting ahead of myself here. There we go. And there. does look nice just as it is yeah I like it all right 
right, I may have done it too tight. <laughs> we shall see, right? Take this out. Pull this up. Try to line this up the best I can. <laughs> now let's glue this down. Yay! I mean, if you wanted to, you could pop this back part on foam if you wanted. I feel like we have a lot of layers, so I'm good with it just being as is. So we have a little wiggle room. There we go. Oh, I like that. Super pretty. The greens are beautiful together. So pretty. Okay. Um, now we're just going to pop. I am going to do a bow. I'm going to pop on a sentiment. Uh, before I do all that, before I do, I wanted to, to kind of show you this gorgeous set um, from Alt New. I could use one of these sentiments, but I just wanted a small sentiment on the outside. Um, and I loved this saying, and I thought it was so pretty with it being a bird. And it says, I believe that friends are quiet angels who lift us to our feet when our wings have trouble remembering how to fly. And um, that is a quote by Lorraine K. Mitchell. So pretty um, and so fitting. So I decided to make this into kind of like a thinking of you or support, like a support card. Um, like I'm here for you, that type of thing. So I am getting just a small sentiment. This is from the Sweet Lilies. These have coordinating, a lot of coordinating thing, dyes. Um, stencils and whatnot here. So I, I'm going to grab this I'm here for you, which is just going to be a sweet, simple sentiment on the outside because there's so much going on on the outside. Um, just, I thought, perfect for a simple little sentiment. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to do, I'm using six by six waffle flower mat here and just gonna pop this on right here I have a die that I'm gonna use to cut it out because I really love that finished look that a die will give um, so the perfection of getting it on there just so is definitely not necessary. Okay, so I have these Dare to be Artsy dies, and I thought this one right here is perfect. We'll use this simple, and I'm just gonna cut it off. I'm not, I mean, I could do a banner, I suppose. I could do it like this. bring it out from right here across maybe or I could just do a little banner right inside there like it's perched on a on the sentiment hmm. I think I'm gonna bring it out and I think I'm just going to I'm not gonna do Yeah, maybe I will. I think I'm getting that straight, am I? Where is 
face, everybody. Hello? <laughs> Anybody there? I may run it back through. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to run it through real quick and see what I get. And then maybe determine whether or not I want to run it back through. There we are. It's dinner time some places, I suppose. Somewhere it's time for dinner. Um, so, I, do I want this? This is what I'm looking at. Do I just want it, you know, tucked underneath here? Nope, that's not going to work. We're just kind of sticking it out from here, like that, right across the bottom. Should I do it across the bottom? Maybe. up here. Or is that too much? I think maybe across the bottom. And I might just run this back through. Let's just do a simple banner. And just a little bit more. So if you don't, if you've not ever done this before, yay, Lindy, you're still here. Um, I'm running it back through. I'm gonna tape this around so that it doesn't shift or move. And because we don't want to shift anything that we've already done. So I'm gonna take another piece of paper and I'm just gonna tape that here like so. So that'll stay. And that's it, running it back through. We are adjusting our banner. custom adjusting it to the size that we want. So, I chose this pebble because I thought the stark white, the cream wasn't cream enough. The cream was even a little too, I mean, the color that I had was a little too, it was just too bright. And I liked this pebble felt like the pebble was perfect for this. Okay, so I am pulling this off. And I'm gonna pull this off. And now we have our little banner and it's gonna sit right here, just like so, tucked underneath that leaf. And I think that's perfect. It's soft, it's subtle, it's gorgeous. Um, that die comes from the Slim Mini Wavy. I love the banners that layer in here. Super awesome. Okay. So in the middle, we are going to need a little bit of dimension. I want it to be the same height as the frame. So I believe that should do it. I'm going to put it right in the middle like that. Maybe not in the middle. <laughs> Let's move it over. That's more the middle. So, and then we can put some glue right here along these edges. So that's what we'll do. We'll peel this off. Get some glue right here. Don't want our sentiment upside down. Want to go under. There we go. And 
Yay. Nice. I'm here for you. I like how that leaf is tucked right there. Okay, now I'm gonna do a bow. Real quick, pop that bow right over here. And typical, I would use the glue dot. I finally found my glue dots because I cleaned my office. <laughs> I was missing glue dots. I'm just gonna put that bow right there. Just a nice, tiny little bow, like so. Bring my blue dots out here though. them later. No? Do we want it to come this way though? Come on, Bo. Cooperate with me. See, y'all watching me struggle with the bow? That's what it is. I need to twist that just so. Yep. And there we go. Hip, hip. I will go grab my glue dot. I know where it's at. <laughs> I couldn't find them for the longest time. So I'm going to grab a glue dot here. We're going to pop this right there. Just like so. And now we're ready to pop this on our card front. As soon as I stamp that sentiment on the inside of the card, I just thought that so pretty and let's do that let's take this one out and put this one in okay, my hands are all dirty now so how are we going to do this <laughs> we're going to fold it we're gonna use our brain. That's how we're gonna do this. <laughs> Sometimes. All right. Let's use this. Out. Such a beautiful sentiment. I love that. Um. And you know. Could totally um, if you wanted to you could use another you know some of these pieces from here I'm not going to do that but um, I just think a simple sentiment on the inside is just as well look at this here and make sure it's straight Just trying to see. I think I got it. I can always. I'm going to tape this down. Right here. So it's not fiddly. And I might 
be a little too far over. I'm stamping it. <laughs> I'm just going to stamp it. You know what, folks? The recipient isn't going to be like that. So, stamping it. I think they're going to be more interested in oops. now I've got a little weirdness going on over here because of this right here which I should have taped down or just used my bone folder but it's not horrible so but that's it it's beautiful yay that's it beautiful for the inside air dry it a little so it doesn't oh yeah that looks nice it's really pretty and it leaves you enough room to write something over here or if you wanted to you could yeah you could write something over here and then sign your name Okay, let's finish this, yay! Here you are. So pretty, so, so, so pretty. See the back side of this? You could even use the back side of this um, as your card base if you wanted to. And then your inside would be that. Glue everywhere. Glue everywhere. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. <laughs> Thank God for those craft erasers to get the glue off. Right? And there we go. There's barely any there showing, so it's great. And there's our card. All done. Oh, and if we wanted to, we could throw some sequins on it. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling no sequins. These sequins would have been really pretty with it. It's got some beautiful blues. I don't know that per it's got a purple sheen to it, so I'm not really sure about that. There's some really pretty um, sage. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Just some subtle bling in there would be really pretty. If we can find some subtle peach, some small ones. Yes. Maybe that, that, and another small. So not too much, and it's just not overdone, and it just adds a little bit of, come on, there's more in it. There you are. That's pretty. I like that. some static on my finger it wants to stick to it big time I should have used my Yeah, let's 
do that. Or maybe just like that. Yes, there we go. Okay, settled. Done. And there it is. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me. There's our card. All done. Complete. I love it. So super, super easy. Beauty, like such a gorgeous focal point, but it was so super easy to achieve um, just with a few other products and to support it. And I love it. Yay. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week. And if you're coming to the Pajama Crop, I can't wait to see you.